Okay, hello everybody. This is just a quick how-to video on how you can add an image to a green screen that moves. So basically a moving image. As you can see that green screen there, the camera pans towards it. And what I wanted to do is add an image to it that looks as if it's actually on the billboard or as close to as possible. Now the image I'm using is going to be a bit glaring so it's going to stand out but hopefully it will uh, at least look like it's part of the board. Let's have a look. I need an image. Oh, this one will do. Okay. So we're going to put that at the beginning and we're going to stretch it out to the end because that's how long the video goes on for and we now need to select the image that we want to mess around with it's already been selected up here and we're going to go into view animation we're going to select 3D distort but before we do that we're going to move this right there we're going to create a node or I think it's called a keyframe position so we're going to create a keyframe position on there and move this now all the way to the end and create another keyframe there so now what we're going to do is if we work backwards yeah, we'll start at the back one we're going to move this now into position and we can make the screen a bit bigger if I ramble on it's a one take sorry it's as good as it's going to get we we'll move this now and we're going to line this up with the corners right there and right there and it does take a while it depends on how much the image moves I was trying to figure this out earlier and everything was just not telling me what I wanted to know and I remember doing something similar in college when I did video editing our video editing course for about a week things you do to not do maths anyway that looks all right we could probably take the green out the top if we wanted to but with the chrome key anyway that will hopefully sort it out it won't look too bad so that, that's the back one we now move all the way to the front one and see it's, it's gone bigger again and what we want to do is same thing again i uh, can't see where it is grab that there come on you there we go that goes up there that goes there and this one obviously goes corner to corner Okay, now that those two are done, I do what I call the ironing out thing, ironing out phase, where because that's not now going to look very good. It will look, it will look, it will move, but it won't look. It, there you go. See how it's coming off. It will come off the board and then it will go back onto the board. And uh, hmm. see, what we're going to do now is we're going to. Go about halfway in between. We need to sort of add as many nodes. The more nodes you add here, I don't know why I keep calling them nodes, keyframes, the better it is. I mean, if you did it frame by frame, it would look like perfect on there, but I ain't doing that. Add a frame in the middle, and we're now just going to do the same thing again. We can't, we always go corner to corner. 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 Come on. Get on there. there. No. And if you do accidentally select the wrong one, just click on that again. Make sure it is the image, the right image that you want to add on there. That you want to merge. Um, I don't know what word I'm looking for. Add to the corners. There we go. That is that. That's halfway in between. So we're going to go halfway in between again. 
we're going to add another node and it is a bit um, of, of a chore to do but it's the only way I know how to do it I'm sure someone probably knows there's a way that you can just type in a few things and boom there it is but whatever works for me okay oh damn Nope. Try and make it as good as possible. The more time you put in, the better it looks. And again, half, again, in between these two now. Another node. And we're just going to keep doing that. Half, 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 half. Just keep half in it, and it will, will eventually iron out all of the. Um, that one, that one there looks pretty good. That looks actually quite like it's almost on it anyway, but I don't think it will still slightly move around a bit. So we're going to move that one up there. Move that one over there. That one there. Yeah, it's still a bit green there. And this bit's where we're probably going to be adding lots of nodes because the nodes, keyframes, because it moves quite a lot. So the more the more the smooth the transition of the actual camera pan easier it is most of the nodes are at the end on here nodes I keep I'm just gonna keep you're gonna have to bear with me calling them that keyframe points there we go back down there all up there move that one over that and back on Okay, and again, we're going to just half these now. Keyframe there. That one looks like it's pretty much still on there because I can still see the green, like, slight glow all around it. You can zoom in as well if you need to sort of get more precise. Go that way. Node in between there. Node. Keyframe. It will still move move around slightly. You it will, it will give a wobble. I can tell because I can still see that some parts of it have lots of green on other ones. Okay. Okay. Now that's looking all right, especially from the end part. I don't know. And that's basically it. Except I need to uh, put the frame, put this behind the, the, the green screen so it looks better. Uh, add another one. Might do a few more, especially towards this part, because it's where it gets really messy. Okay. I 
don't know why the picture has gone pixely like that. One, this is zoomed in, of course. Oh, add another one, and then we're going to put it behind the green screen or make it look like it's actually more of part of the image. Um. I think that's all right. That'll do. Okay, now I want now to make this part look like it's better. And we're going to use the chrome key on this. And that. Go up to chrome key. And it should remove all the green. Yes. And that's basically it. Now again, the image I used, I should have probably made it look like it's more actually a part of the background anyway. But, and it still wobbled around a little bit. But as I say, the more you put in, like to do it properly, it should all look like the end and it should be you should zoom in it and literally put it right on top of um you know really take your time but that's the gist of it that's how i do it anyway and anyway, hopefully this helps and i'll probably uh put the full video at the end of, of what i've just created so you can see the idea and see if it's something that you would want to use bye